is something we wanted to do. This is a goal of ours to be more uh, self-sufficient. I'm excited to have some uh, smoked chicken here soon. I'm free, my friend. You like water? That worked out perfect. Mm -hmm. Come on, little guys, go over there and get some water. Get some water.
What you think about me birds? They're super cute right now. Yeah. I love how they drink water too. I guess I never knew that they just get some in their mouth and they look up and they just... <laughs> Have you ever raised meat birds? I haven't. You ever raised chickens? No. So this is the first. You mm -hmm. ever built a uh, chicken tractor? Um, no. Do you know what a chicken tractor was? No, when you guys kept saying tractor, I was like, what? <laughs> chicken <strike> tractors? <laughs> but as you saw, we built a chicken tractor. We got uh, all the chicks on the ground. They're probably three, four days old now and uh, we wanted them straight on the ground we didn't want to wait and uh, keep them in a small cage or anything like that it's good weather we don't need heat lamps and all that uh, this is perfectly uh, fine the way it is it'd be the same thing as if a hen hatched them out and they were good to go in the barn so that's the beauty of this this project cost us 25 dollars for the uh, netting here and that was the best 25 dollars spent ever uh, working with this metal uh, or working with this chicken wire was way better than the uh, I guess normal original kind it is very easy to use it's very uh, flexible and uh, if the chickens do stick their head through I am not worried of them getting cut or anything so uh, what do you think of this project easy yeah I'm excited to have some uh, smoked chicken here soon uh, this is the first time I've ever done this i've always wanted to do it since we've uh, moved out to terrell and started getting animals and we've had chickens for eggs just not yeah straight meat i've always said i want to get, uh, do meat chickens matt wanted to do it when he was down there too and uh well we finally could do it and see how it is so these are cornish cross if any guys were wondering uh we got them at tractor supply uh for 50 percent off that's why we got uh, these at the time we weren't we wanted them we just didn't know we were gonna get them right away we needed a quick uh, build and a one day build to go ahead and get them in grass we didn't want to leave them in that little cage so if you twenty of them well one's already called what cinnabon cinnamon roll this one cinnamon roll so we're gonna name all breakfast items yeah so uh, we are gonna raise them up strictly for meat uh, once it's time to uh, dispatch them and put them in the freezer that's what we're gonna do so uh, these are not pets these are strictly meat and we know that from the get-go so we're gonna move this chicken tractor around let them have fresh grass and uh, feed every day and then we'll start putting the uh, crumble out on the ground so they start pecking but they're already some of them already looking for bugs and stuff like that which is crazy they're literally three or four days old and just natural instinct it's what they know how to do so i'm pretty pumped with this uh very easy very simple and uh we'll have hopefully 20 big full-size chickens in our freezer soon All right, guys. So again, this build was twenty-five dollars. Why? Um, so all the lumber pieces are scraps yeah. from other projects and everything like that. Yeah, and the only thing we had to buy was this wire. And again, um, I saw this and I put normal chicken wire on the top of some rabbit cages over there, and I just hate it. And then I saw this. I didn't even know they made it. It is well worth the extra money to get this. But uh, to be able to build all this with everything we already had here, that's the one reason I'm glad we had a lot of stuff around. Mm -hmm. That's what, honestly, I love about a lot of things we do here. It's yeah. Just, it's what we find here or just like leftover everything. Use and reuse. That's right. Upcycle, right? That's right. But we will leave them here for a few days, kind of see um, how much their uh, poop is collecting, how much they're, uh, you know, disturbing the grass and all that, and then we can move them uh, easily. This is light enough that one of us can move it ourselves. Uh, yes, all three of us did carry it in, but we'll probably attach a rope or something on the front we can just pull. But um, this is a very simple build. Uh, we are only going to keep them in here while they grow and as soon as they're uh, ready for butcher. That's it. We're not going to have anything in here. We can utilize this for rabbits as well if we want. Mm -hmm. uh, this will probably even be a grow out pen for rabbits when we're not doing the uh, chicken. So uh, we will have uh, the rabbits in their cages and then uh, we could put them in here, the adults in here, or we could put babies in here. So this is definitely a multi-use uh, thing. And uh, we did use plywood because that's what we had, but you can put metal on top. Um, this will be perfectly fine out in the elements. Uh, it was out in the elements already anyways. Yeah. We can paint it. 
Uh, we can do whatever we need to. Yeah, Jared was really wanting to paint shoot dang on the top of it. Really bad. He so. kept saying it over and over. So we might put a shoot dang yeah. logo on there at some point. But hopefully if you guys are interested in getting meat birds or building something, this video helped you out. Uh, or if you've done it before, comment down below and tell us how we can make this build even better. Uh, I know that you could do cross braces and all that if it gets a little weak uh, right now. Staples. Yeah, you could staple it in. Um, Again, just using what we have. Yeah, literally using what we had. And this is inside an enclosed area with dogs on the outside. So we're not worried about predators getting in and getting them. Uh, so this fits our needs. You guys can customize it to fit yours. I love baby birds. Mm -hmm. um, we are hatching out some of our own right now. We left some eggs in the uh, barn for those chickens to do it. But those will be egg layers. These are meat uh, mm -hmm. birds. I'm pumped. This is something we wanted to do. This is a goal of ours to be more uh, self-sufficient out here and have um, different sources of food. And this is definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. I think one of the easier um, sources of food, honestly. And you can't go wrong with chicken. You can't go wrong with chicken. Okay. So guys, uh, hopefully uh, you liked the video. If you're new here, subscribe, notification bell, that cool stuff if you like. Um, we are a ranch. We don't consider ourselves really a homestead. Mm -hmm. Why? because we're not <laughs> but guys if there's anything else you'd like to know about us it's down in the description we do have shoot dang fest which is just like a youtube meetup coming up very very quick uh the 29th and 30th i believe yes of this month yeah. i mean shoot, so, just days away yeah uh, close. yeah so if you guys are interested in that or uh shoot dang merch uh you had your shirt on a minute ago i yeah, think I I have my shirt underneath this one. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in that, there's a link down there for uh, Bonfire. You can check those out. Um, anything you need to know is down in the description. We have other uh, channels down there as well. My family has channels. Jared has channels. Um, and Everybody's then, got channels. And then also, just because we're super pumped, um, Corey and Cynthia, they are part of Shoot Dang Fest. Uh, they are co-headlining. They are. We'll call it that. Yeah. Um, but uh, go check out Corey and Cynthia. We'll put a link down in the description for that as well. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. And then hopefully uh, a couple of weeks from now, we'll have some meat. Yes. All right, guys. Bye.